So, welcome back to another episode of Mania Lofts. All our little high flies are doing quite well. Not really the best position with this sun coming in here trying to film them, but um, I think we'll put that in a bit of consideration when we do build them a new cage. This size um, really seems to be working well for them, so I do have a little bit of an idea. Uh, I'm just giving them a bit of a feed and a bit of water while I'm out here today. Um, so keen to get these little birds up flying so I'm getting a little bit of a plan together um, we have a little bit of sad news though we've actually lost one of our eggs um, so that one's still warm I actually seen the broken eggshell down in here so what I think has happened I can see a little bit of mouse poo down there so I think a mouse might have got the egg um, and taken it down there so um, I'm gonna have to start trapping these mice again. I was hoping that the snakes would have thinned them out a bit um, And there is a little bit of a clip in this video of the snakes that sort of hang around here um, These snakes don't they're not interested in pigeons or that kind of stuff They're only interested in looking for mice and little frogs and things like that, but um, we, You know, it's part of our plan to move the loft position build some more lofts and all that kind of stuff So definitely stay tuned for that um, But all these guys are looking pretty good they're all pretty happy and settling in quite well, which is a good sign. We just need to sort of get them in a better spot so we can sort of start to breed them a bit more. So one of my plans is um, to utilize this grate. This grate is, uh, I think it's 70, 73 or 75 centimet centimeters that way. Your puppies are throwing me off. Um, so basically I think it's 735 millimeters that way. And I think that way it's about 1335 so in saying that i really feel like this is a good floor for a kit box so the idea i'm tossing up is um moving all the high flies out of there um and setting them up their own little kit box obviously off the ground quite a fair way um and having this as the flooring so all the poo can fall through there um and just set this up as a proper kit box as a little um trapdoor and all that kind of stuff and a flight so we can actually start to really get serious about getting these guys up in the air um, and what I might do is also look at taking one of the high fly pairs maybe back to my house if we do if I can figure out a way of built, getting some more breeding boxes and maybe trying to breed them there in their own single breeding pens um, so that they can just pump out a couple of rounds of young birds um, and we can put them into this loft as well. That's the biggest problem I think at the moment, sort of just getting um, those single pens and getting the babies out. We need to get them out and up in the air. But um, let me know what you think. I do have three panels, um, but I'm only thinking about using one for one. Um, and obviously we can extend it or make a couple of other little boxes as we go along. We could have one for Pakistani high flyers. We can have one for um, the Budapest, which Mr. K is, um, and even a tumbler one as well. So definitely a good idea i could yeah just keeping you guys in the loop with what my mind's thinking because i definitely want to move um the chickens need a better setup and we need to move away from these rocks just because um you know the snakes and obviously i want to move them into a more secure area and a better position for obviously racing and flying and all that kind of stuff so definitely a lot of thought going through here as long as yeah as well as getting the whole section ready as well because i've got a try and get the house built that's over here i um, doing a little bit of burning off on my over as well because that sort of the burning off section runs out very soon so let me know what you think um, we're going to head home soon I will show you a little bit of a clip of the snakes if I haven't already um, they were there yesterday I think when I was here so have a look at that don't stress um, we'll see you guys at home when we check out our racing birds so So I would promise you guys that we would uh, see some snakes. So what we'll do, we'll have a little bit of a look because I reckon there are some here. Look at that one. That oh, there's a jugite. Right there. Then there's another one there. You see that one? 
So as I said, there's quite a few here. Um, that's just two that I can see. Let's have another look at this little guy here. See his little head there? Now there could be a lot of reasons why these snakes are here. Um, basically, we took all the rubbish out of here. We've got rid of a lot of the grass. So this here is um, you know, it's probably the only safe spot. It's very safe and warm. It's a high spot too because there is water everywhere. Uh, and also that there is probably mice around here just because the mice can smell the chickens and all the chicken food. So I would say it's one of those reasons that are pretty much, you know, they're sheltering this food um, and it's safe for them. That's why they're here. There's already two. I can guarantee you there's probably a couple more there somewhere too. Okay, so we're back home now. Um, and we need to go out and feed the rest of the birds and check on them. I did do it this morning, um, but we're going to do the final one before nightfall. Um, just give them their, a bit more of a the food there and make sure everything's okay. But so much stuff going on here. I'm um, trying to keep the videos up, but um, they're probably going to be not overly exciting for the next week. Just basically the little um, daily updates, um, just the loft updates, just because, um, you know, this house here is double the size of what we're moving to over in the block where we just were so we've got to try and get rid of half the amount of stuff that we've got that's why there's just so much stuff laying around um, so we're just trying to sell stuff um, decal um, we're giving stuff away and donating it and all sorts of bits and pieces so there's quite a lot going on that you guys are not seeing at the moment but I'm, I'm just trying to get on the front foot and and basically be ready for the move um, and yeah so stay tuned for that because there is a lot going on all the puppies are gone now so i've been cleaning all this out um so we're, we're back into full swing and trying to get ready to move and get all these pigeons up flying because that is the goal that's what i want let's get out there and feed them anyway and then i've got to clean up all this mess getting there slowly right so both titan and little storm are doing really well you can see her eggs are um Looking pretty good. I'm surprised how clean her eggs are. They're actually really clean. No poo, nothing on them. Which is, um, that's a good sign. Definitely good parents. They cannot be too far away from hatching, I'd say any time. Any time now. We definitely need to get some more babies of these guys out because the previous round they had looks starting to look really good. Give them a little bit of food. Same with um, these guys in here. The chicks are getting massive. Say so almost in the next few days. We might even try and get a ring on there later. These rings. Your little legs are massive, getting little turkey legs. Look at them. I'm gonna have to try and get some rings on there before it's too late, I think. These ones look like they're growing better than their last round, which is hard to beat because their babies are generally looked after really well. Come on. Come on. You're such a noisy hen. Come on. Let's keep an eye on these guys and see how they go because um, these are looking really dark compared to their normal ones. Generally their their babies are not this dark. Look how dark their beaks are. Their faces are almost black. It just looks really strange. Normally they're not this bad. I wonder if that means they might be um, dark checkers or something. It's just interesting. Hey, yeah, they're just so dark. It's unreal. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. Come on. So I think we've got about 10 babies in here that we can actually take to the block and try and break in. There's quite a few of them here. Um, and we've also got another bunch of them in there. And we've got 
another four on the go in those boxes so we're going to have quite a few that we could get into the initial break um, I wouldn't mind trying to break in a couple of the older splits as well see so like those two definitely want to see how they fly I think the pair that I just pointed out I might keep those ones as the only pair of stock splits um, and there is probably three other splits that we could take out and probably try and break them in because I've got five five splits I think so we might do that as well so we're gonna have we can have like 15 or so birds um, I'm just trying to find out what the best way is whether or not we take this loft out here put some more breeding boxes here or I don't really want to build another one I'm trying not to spend too much money at the moment because obviously um, the report come back from our house that we're building and we obviously need to spend more money on the um, the footings of the house so it's going to cost us a lot more money so I don't want to spend too much but um, just trying to figure out some options that we can do on the cheap to get these birds out there flying so it's a few options but if you guys can think of any other options obviously if you've been following both channels you've got a fair idea of what's going on so drop some comments down below make sure you hit that like button this is just a quick little update we definitely need to um, get these birds up flying um, and try and set down a couple more pairs and just get those pairs in full breeder mode um, so we'll, we'll probably just breed here fly the block just have to juggle a few things try and make a spare up some more time I think we're on to it we're getting a good plan ahead um, but I definitely need to get these birds flying as soon as possible so that is my main aim is to figure out how we can transition onto this state without cause, costing too much money um, and not putting too much inconvenience like my work schedule and family schedule so I'll keep you guys in the loop I'll catch you guys in the next video make sure you hit that like button um, and also drop some comments down below because things are getting crazy